YouTube, Ed here, Top of the Line Training. Today we're covering the ribs front pack, so stay with me, we're going to get right to it. Alright YouTube, Ed back with you, Top of the Line Training. Today, like I said, we're covering the ribs front pack, and I'm just going to go ahead and give you a couple specs on them. It's 11 liters. I'm not sure what that breaks down to uh, cubic inch, and I'll put that in the uh, box below. Uh, ribswear.com is the website. Again, all that will be in the box below. Um, pretty much uh, what it does, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with them, it basically fits around your rib cage and it's front carry. So we're going to open it up and see how it fits. Now, they recommended to go ahead and fill the... Uh, uh, pack up before you fit it, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can do it right here on camera before um, I fill it up and get it ready for use. It comes in this little um, carry case, and you can see the ribs there. Pretty cool. Uh, it's supposed to balance your weight and it can be used with a backpack or without as you can see here let me see if we can get back in the camera Ooh, got me a rib sticker there coming with it uh let's see here just checking to see if anyone's sneaking up on me i'm over here in this area across from the apartments uh, I don't think anyone's running around here, but uh, you never know. Uh, let's see, okay, so this uh, piece here will go in the back. Right. So it probably goes on like this. I'm just guesstimating to see what it's like. I'm going to have to definitely extend it out. So let me get back with you, get it set up here and before I waste all my battery and camera and all that good stuff. I'll be right back. Yeah, top of line training, working on the ribs. All right, guys, head back with the top of the line training. And I went ahead and got the ribs on. Basically, uh, pretty easy. Just uh, it unzips here in the front, which separates. You just put your arms through the uh, slots in the webbing with that back piece, uh, back guide in the back. And you just zip it up like a jacket. And they ride right here. Um, you can adjust here for tightness or whatever, make them a little bit bigger. Say you had a jacket or a coat on, something like that. I got the uh, sun blasting me, so I'm stepping back and see if you can see it. Anyway, it uh, you got your adjustment straps right here. They're indicated by the uh, uh, silver nylon. The ribs itself are made out of a uh, Cordura. Looks like some kind of 500 Cordura or so. Rip stop nylon. And there's two compartments on each rib. So you have your front small pocket here. And the sun's killing me, guys. The sun's killing me. i have to move out of that here in a minute. Then you got your main rib here. And then within inside you have two mesh elastic top slip pockets that you can put stuff in. So it looks like it can hold uh, quite a few items, actually. Let me adjust that camera over here real quick and get out of that damn sun. All right, so it looks like uh, it's going to be able to carry uh, actually quite a bit of gear in here. You know, you don't want to pack yourself down with a bunch of stuff, but this would be great for a day hike. Um, say you're out even hunting. Uh, hiking through the woods, fishing trip, whatever. And you know you're going to come back or plan on coming back um, the same day. You know, this would be a nice little carry-on for, uh, you know, a little bit of food, your essential survival items, with a belt, with your uh, blade on the side. And, uh, you know, I think you could carry quite a bit of stuff here. Then even so, let's say you had a haversack or a small backpack as well. So you could actually carry a lot of gear. 
So stay with me. I'm going to load this thing up. All right, guys, there with you, top of the line training. Going over the rib, ribs uh, front pack today. And I just went ahead and threw a few items in here just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I definitely am going, I'm going turkey hunting Saturday. I'm definitely going to take this thing and test it out in the field there. But I just wanted to put a few things in here just to get the feel of it and show you how it rides. I don't have a lot in here, but everything definitely is right at uh, arm's reach, you know, or hand's reach. I can go into even the left side here with my right hand and pull things out. Um, it's pretty well organized. Like I said, inside on the back, on the big uh, pack, there's two mesh, there's a big mesh uh, slip sleeve. It's divided in half so you can organize your stuff. Then you have the whole big area. And you can put a small raincoat or a light raincoat in here. Uh, Probably have quite a few things you could actually work into these things. They recommend that you use the smaller pouches or pockets for um, items that you're going to need right away, or like you may be walking down the trail. You might have some snacks in here, um, maybe a fire kit, first aid kit, things like that that you want to get to easily. That's what they recommend you use these for. Like in here, I have a flashlight. You know, night core, 860 lumens. But uh, so I have a flashlight there. I mean, no big deal. Like I said, this is just demonstration. But I really like the uh, feel of this thing. It rides well. In the back here, you can adjust this. And what they recommend is, like you know, if you're just out strolling around or whatever have you, you can just let it hang loose. You know, you can even loosen it up like so, whatever have you. Um, this here is a large, and I believe it was waist 36 to 40, but I wear like a 32, 33 waist, so I don't know. I mean, maybe they run a little small, I'm not sure, or I gotta adjust it too tight, but what I was saying was you can adjust it here, so like if you are out moving about fast or whatever have you, you can cinch this down here, tighten up on you. And it really hugs into your body so it's like sort of part of you if you will so like you know if you're moving and it keeps everything balanced and whatnot so which is nice um in here just for an example i got a small first aid kit and i got a couple of those uh whatever you want to call them dehydrated towels or whatever condensed towels that um ultimate survival uh, you know, you just hit them with water and they open up. You know, nice item to have, actually. Um, I mean, how many times have you been out and needed to wa wash up or wipe off or something like that? Um, in the big pocket here, I have like a emergency bivy. So like I said, you know, this could be a real good, like, uh, survival kit. Say you're out walking around and you get lost. You have this here, like maybe one side could be like your items you're going to use you know drinking water um, fire kit uh, you know things like that whatever on this side here uh, again I have that I have uh, the SOL emergency bivy um, I also have uh, a life straw and I'll be doing a review on this real soon so make sure you watch the channel for that these things are excellent they all right, crows. I'll be taking them out in a minute. Uh, these things are excellent. They've got a lanyard with them, wrap around your neck. They're real lightweight. They uh, filter about, about, I believe, a thousand liters of water. Um, they're really nice. So they're only about 20 bucks, 22 bucks, I think, at Dick's. You could probably get them for around 19 bucks. Um, a good investment. I mean, you might carry so much water with you, a couple canteens or whatever have you, uh, unless you're planning some kind of long stay trip where, uh, you know, you're carrying a few gallons of water with you or something, or you have it in a vehicle. And, uh, you know, that's fine for that. But if you're out, you know, you might have a canteen or two with you. You go through that. Yes, you can boil and all that good stuff. And that's 
that would be my primary uh, method of using or getting more water or some kind of filter system but you know when it comes down to brass tacks there's some water I don't have anything I'm too even too weak to build a fire or whatever I just want to drink I can use this and it will help save my life or will save my life so something to keep in you know buy one a month get about two or three four of them on hand and uh, get them in your different kits in your vehicle things like that because uh, if you watch like uh, example make it unafraid um, shows like that reality shows like that um, it always appears or seems to almost every time if you look at it almost every one of them uh, is about water not having enough water and uh, the show that I don't know if it's on anymore but the show uh, I shouldn't be alive almost every one of them every one of them cut down to the water they're out of water they don't have it blah 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 etc and uh, you know just having this right here thousand liters of water will go very far for you so I highly recommend these I'll be doing a review on it so make sure you check the channel for that <clears throat> so here like I said I have a just the small bivy and then I have the mercy space blanket you know uh, that with a fire almost on uh, you know your temperatures above 35 and above you know you could sleep pretty comfortably like that if you you know use some leaves and some other thing depends on the conditions but something to keep you going <clears throat> i forgot i do have a hank of uh, uh, a hundred foot of they call it tactical cord it's four strand cord i believe it is um i want to say 400 or 375 Breaking strength, I'm not 100% sure. Let me look here real quick. I'm sorry, 275 uh, test. So, you know, uh, that's quite a bit, 100 foot right here. Got that in here as well. And you can see how easy that I got that out of there. So you can really pack things in here. And then, like I said before, uh, oops, uh, down in the slip sleeve here, the mesh slip sleeve. And you can see in there what's in the pocket. You can put like, uh, you know, a notebook, a pen, chewing gum, whatever, things like that, cell phone. Um, over here on this side, like I said, I have the flashlight. I have my fire kit here, basically a little tender, lighter uh, ferro rod. Uh, that's, you know, just a small fire kit that I have. And then here I have an Expedition uh, water bottle. Of course I could clip this and let it hang no problem but I, I don't have anything in it it's just an example but you know you could fill it full of water carrying in here no problem with a little food and stuff I also have a Baco Laplander saw this cup with a knife in the wilderness um, a good or even a fair even like a more bushcraft more bushcraft black um, and cut down some get some trees uh, cut up split it down with the more and uh, you know you got a nice fire rolling as long as you have something to make fire with so you know and then again over here I have uh, my flashlight and like I said that's just, it's just ex an example YKK zippers I believe this is about 500 denier I will check that it's ripstop nylon for sure and I gotta say, man, I was uh, a little skeptical about these. I seen these, I want to say, like two or three years ago, and um, when I saw them, I was a little skeptical about them and stuff. And I said, man, you know, I got so many packs, I got so many packs, and you know, am I ever gonna really gonna use it and things like that? But this is my first time putting this thing on, and uh, man, I gotta tell you, it is very comfortable very comfortable and if I need the air I can just let it loose um, and I could you could probably just let it hang like this if you wanted to you know whatever cup this up with a like I said a haversack a small backpack or whatever you got plenty of uh, gear to uh, set you up for a day or even probably two days uh, if you had to you know depending on your survival skills and whatnot so all right guys this is it.
Hey guys, Ed, back with you, top of the line training. I just wanted to show you uh, the rib front pack combined with a small uh, backpack. This is a 30 liter backpack. Actually, it's not that small. It holds a lot of stuff. It's the VanQuest um, Ibex 30. And if you, I don't know, I have done the re initial review on this. I just haven't published it yet. I will be getting that out to you soon. Um, so make sure you check that out. If not, you might get the VanQuest first, then you get this. So I don't, I don't know which one I'm going to publish first. But uh, anyway, this is what it looks like with the ribs front pack. Man, it's real nice. You can put like your small essentials in here, uh, things you need real fast, and things like that. Then you know, if you stop, set your camp or whatever. You have all your big stuff, and you know your sleeping gear, and your shelter, and major big food and stuff, big items in the pack. Real nice. All right, guys, this is Ed, top of the line training with the ribs front pack. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment. Make sure you give me a thumbs up below. As well, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get the channel built up. And that being said, if you haven't entered the 500 subscriber giveaway, please do so. All you have to do is three things. One, you got to be a subscriber. So if you're not, just go down below, click it, bam, subscribe. Two, um, like one of my videos. Again, just go as after you subscribe, just scroll right up to the uh, thumbs up button, like. It's done. And three, leave a comment. So when you're done with that, go down to the comment box, leave a comment, and all you have to do in the comment is Ed, put me in the contest. Ed, I won in the contest. I want in, put me in, sign me up, whatever it is. Something that indicates that you want to be in the 500 subscriber giveaway challenge. As you were, not challenge, but contest. And uh, as soon as we hit 500 subscribers, and it's slowly growing, as soon as we hit that, I'm gonna, uh, what I'll do is once I know that you want in, I'll sign you a number. Once I hit 500, I will um, do a random generated number. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna probably draw four names. There's three prizes, basically. First prize is gonna get some kind of pack and a blade, and I haven't decided yet what they will be. I've been thinking about the Hazard for Plan B pack, and if you haven't seen that video, check out both of those videos on my channel, and I'll put a link up here. Uh, the card should be coming up right about now, and that is for the initial first look and the field test of the Hazard 4 Plan B evacuation bag. Really nice pack, and it'd be a nice to win. Um, and then some blade. I don't know what blade yet, but actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, a, there are gonna be three blades. Right now there's two, which is the Emerson, or the Kershaw Emerson Design CQC8 uh, folding knife, and there's the Hudson Bay, um, Hudson Bay knife, by Condor tool and knife and I just ordered it today a brand new one because that's what's going to be given away it comes with a really nice leather sheet and if you haven't seen that video uh, check the card click on the card above it could be up there I don't, I'm not sure exactly on the orientation it could be up one of the corners there click on it it'll take you right over to the Hudson Bay knife review uh, really nice knife man really nice knife uh, check it out. You can do some serious. It's a large knife. You can do some serious chopping and things like that. And to win it would be a great uh, thing, man. If I won something like that, uh, it'd be great. But anyway, hopefully you do. And, but you're not going to win it if you don't sign up. And then, like I said, I have not decided the third blade yet. But how it's going to work is, you sign up. I do the drawing. I notify you that you won. You'll get the pack. If you're first place, you get the pack, and you get to pick which knife you want, one of the three. And then I'll notify the second place winner. They'll get to pick one of the uh, of the two remaining knives, and then the knife that's left over goes to the third place. I'm paying for the shipping and everything. It's no problem. I'm trying to do this as a free, you won. You know, I think if when you win something, you shouldn't have to pay to do something. So sign up. Make sure you get in the contest, and you might win. With all that being said, 
This is Ed, top of the line training. God bless, take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Ed here, top of the line training. Today we're covering the ribs. Hey YouTube, Ed here, top of the line training. Today we're gonna cover the ribs uh, pack. The All right, guys, head back with you, top of the line training. Going over the ribs front uh, pouch today, or front pocket, or front, uh, hold on, damn it, the hell. And take two. All right, guys, head with you, top of the line.